Hello everyone. Let's start our course by learning availability group cluster at high level. Suppose you have one machine in network A where your database is located. In this case, if there is any outage happens, for example, your network is down or your machine breaks because of some hardware failure, you may lose your data, right? So as a dat database administrator, you may want to prevent this kind of outage and make your database be available always, even if there is a disaster. I mean, you want disaster recovery solution. Also, you may want to make your database highly available to distribute the load among different nodes, for example, by creating a read replica, right? AG gives you this kind of solutions. AG gives you DR solution and high availability capabilities. First, along with current network A, we create network B, where we create another node with separate database. Also, we create another node in network A. After that, we create Windows failover cluster by including these nodes. Finally, we create SQL Server AG cluster on top of Windows failover cluster by declaring our current node as primary and the other two nodes as secondary. After creating AG, the primary replica sends transaction log records of each database to every secondary replica and synchronization begins. There are some important points to mention here. They can be multi-subnet, multi-region, and single-subnet AG clusters. We created multi-subnet cluster here. In each AG cluster, there can be one primary replica and up to eight secondary replica. Okay, up to eight. So, how, to, how do applications connect? There is a feature resource in AG cluster called listener. An availability group listener is associated with unique DNS virtual IP addresses, okay? And by using this, client can connect to AG cluster. The read-write connection sessions are automatically directed to the current primary, okay? There are many other concepts and features related to this cluster. We will deeply learn them step by step in this course.